This is spinning out uh, episode 10, the final episode of the season. I am recording this immediately after recording the last one. Give me a second. It's called Kiss and Cry. I had to go look at the, the, the episode real quick. Not much to say, but this is the ultimate episode, and I know that this this show never got another season, but uh, it that that's um that sucks because this freaking show is incredible, freaking amazing. It sucks you in and you doesn't let go until it. The episode is over. I've just watched the last two in a row, and um, time went by real quick. Actually, not really. Taking a while. Taking a while. No, I mean, you know what I mean. And, not the time went by really quick, but it didn't feel like I was wasting my time. Is what I mean. I felt like uh, it was a really, it was a great use of my time. I felt like I, I, I watched a um, very satisfying piece of fiction, movie, um, cinema, whatever. Anyway, uh, this is the last episode. This is it's like I watched a little movie today. Um, I am cheering for them to get onto that skating ring and freaking skate their heart out. I have a feeling. Yeah, it's not gonna end perfectly though, right? I th it it looks like so. I guess because it's sectionals, does that mean I don't know what the sectionals is? But it's a, it sounds like they're all competing, right? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, obviously, the friend won't be able to, but what's her name? Savina. I guess she's gonna be there. She's having own issues, and Cat will be there. She's gonna find a way to get there. But I mean, she's gonna, be, she's gonna be competing against her own sister for for make that thing. Now, it could go well. It couldn't go well. I don't know. I'm gonna opt for. They probably plan the second season. They probably gonna have her lose. She might come in second place to her sister. But be willing to take that and be proud for her sister having won the competition. She's gonna be second. She might be second place. You know. I don't know. Did we come all this way just to watch the sister win though? But I feel like it's too happy an ending for the show. Too predictable. For her to just win at the end. I don't know. They also got to get... Uh, Dasha didn't take her back yet. We don't know about that yet. We still got to fix that. At least she knows what happened though. I think they lose and it's like next time we're going to win or something. But the sister going to be there too, you know. Or someone else comes in first place. But no. There's only only two things there. Either they win or they lose. That's all I care about. So I'm gonna find out. I don't know. I don't know. Because if they win, then that's kind of the end of the show. So then you really need to have a second season. You know, I feel like they're not gonna do it. Although I wish, I hope they will. But I feel like story-wise, it makes more sense for them to lose so they can come back up from it. This is really good too. This way. Well, let's go. We're going to find out. This is it. Last episode. Go. Seeing the opening one last time. I left the darkness and how did you do? So wake me up. Put it on my chest. I'm good for it. Don't be sad. I knew it. I knew it would start with a flashback. But I fell. And you got back up. Where's the cat? Where's the little fucker? Where's the little, you know what? No oh issues. no, the freaking bar shit. Oh, I forgot about that. That girl, she's a wild card. You ask me, you don't need that kind of mess in your life. Things aren't always so black and white, James. There's been a slight setback oh, with no. your daughter's lungs. Premature, premature birth is one. Mushed mm. rice and shit. Mm. <laughs> what are you saying? I just don't want to skate. So, but you're up for it. My God. Yeah. Well, she gets I mean, to skate. Yes. I'll take Dash and we'll meet you at the rink. Hey, it's a start. It's a start. Give me past the vodka. Everything's not patched up yet, but we're at, we're at section A. I worked my ass off to be here, and I'm not going to let you breeze in like you always do. This is my year. He was nicer before. You know, this rink has been the star of literally every nightmare I've had for the last two years. I'm expecting to see you. Uh, yeah, me too. Oh, what are you doing here? Getting right, weird. You know, I have that concierge service. This concierge service thing is a bu is bullshit, isn't it? 
Rachel cheated. It completely screwed me up. That's right. He was. He got. He got cheated on too. Oh man, that sucks. I love you. I, I do want to move in with you. Look at that kiss. Go for a drive. Get out of here for a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Here's her up next, and I don't skate for a couple more hours. James, I had another baby. Carol said that I should tell you. Why would he be upset by that? You won't even look at me. You know what? That's enough. <laughs> I warn you not to make your partnership anything more, but did you listen? No. So, lucky for you, all great art comes from pain. So you go out there and express your pain. Our last skaters in the short program event from the Pinecrest Skating Club. Here we go. Oh yeah, 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 we did see part of this. Woo! That was so cool, that camera moved. So he tossed her. Josh is happy. That's good enough for me. Which puts them in first place. What? Okay, so it's not the end though. So get some rest. program they won first place. We won. I'm gonna treat her smile because you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it. You were right. He said what happened? Terrible person. If he says anything when you say I was with you, you're unbelievable. <laughs> you just you never learn. I'll lie for you. If you answer this question for me, how can people like us? How do we know what love is? That's a good question. Good question. There was a moment. He was brushing his teeth in the bathroom and he smiled at me through his toothpaste. I mean, I, I realized I love this man. Love isn't always an emotion for people like us. It's, it has to be a decision. And I'm just so worried that you're going to spend all this time trying to pin down this emotion. You're going to go crazy. Honey. I won't tell Mitch, but I think you should. I love him too. That's what you gotta tell him. Oh, Alright, here we go. <laughs> Are you dating Jen? I'm thinking you're not really mature enough to handle this. Oh, seriously? Wait, are you breaking oh, up you with me? How is going? Reputation is a big part of all this, right? Wouldn't want to ruin yours. You mean you want to ruin yours? <sighs> Just ties this terrible right now. Ew. Get out of here. They didn't have sex, right? What the hell? Get out, get that I guy out of there. Get another doctor. Oh I shit. I invited her here. That's great. Hey. She said no. Oh. She Boy. said it's better live with our memories than risk disappointment. No. There is no so she was afraid of. competition day. No, that's the saddest that's the saddest uh, I'm done with the show. I'm gonna it's terrible. It sucks. Why don't she say no? Risk disappointment. What are you talking about? What have you guys got to lose? I told you I didn't know. But I do now. I love you, Justin. Oh, I thought you were going to say she doesn't. You just tell me what I want to hear or something like that. Justin, no. looked at me and you told me that you would never let me fall. That was the moment I fell in love with you. I've never been able to trust somebody to not let me fall before. You know, it's, it's the reason why I'm not scared to skate on this ring. It's why even when we won the short, it didn't feel right about the skating anymore for me. You hurt me. I know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Let's go beat the end game now, okay? Yes, yes. Get your coat on. Oh, Maybe man. outside. Serena, come on, help your sister. Serena, you know someone, you trust them. They don't give a shit about you, and they're just gonna end up leaving you like everyone else in my life. You loved me. But all I really wanted was sex. I don't <laughs> understand. She told me she's dating you. Really? No. Well, weird idea of what dating means. I didn't know. So what? The woman's a train wreck. And she thought to herself, I won't tell my husband, but I'll tell Carol. I mean, am I really that hard to confide in? <laughs> Dad, sometimes you have to forgive the rest of the world for not being so perfect. You can't fault someone for being complicated. Yeah, he understands that now. probably what made you love her.
Well, why is she sending naked pictures of herself to some guy? Four the other months. Night, nothing to you. She's been coaching her for four months, exactly. Uh, 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 no, not that. Home, She's gonna read into that. Oh, shit. You want me to come? I can't drag you into this again. I'm gonna get to see, I didn't get to see her skate too much, actually. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Some crazy mother misunderstandings. Because it wasn't with Kat. It was my mistake getting involved with his family. And for the record, I would never lay a hand on Serena. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. Do you really think he was doing something to Serena? Or were you just trying to get back at me to ruin my life? <laughs> I didn't mean it. Is someone hurting you? Serena. Oh shit. It's a case of a delusional teenage girl with a crush. No. I don't believe you. Did you figure out what was going on with your sister? Oh, man. Yeah. She's right here. She's your sister, isn't she? She must be lying. By your family, and I'm not going to let your crazy fuck up my happiness. Not again. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Jen. Ethan, I think we should go. No. Jen! You can't just walk away. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? Life is complicated. I'm so sorry. I was just hurt that you didn't think you could tell me. Look, I know life has thrown the three of us some real shit. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. After everything that's happened, we need this. One of us gotta win that goddamn competition. Something it's all the shit that's happened. We have that competition a new one. Whew. From the Pine Crest Skating Club, Justin Davis and Katarina Baker. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, oh, yeah. Is everything okay? No way. Wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> no way. Is that a dream? What was that? Hi. Oh boy. I'm Serena Baker's mother. <laughs> what was that? The lady saw that. <laughs> so is this what's gonna happen afterwards? <laughs> Isn't that gonna get her in prison again? I don't know if that was the best way to handle that. Have a surprise. Don't lean too close to the and fire. Giant marshmallow. Just me and my girl. That might be it. That might be the shot. So that means she is gonna see her. Did she get she is is she gonna see her? I'm confused. What? What? That's how it ended? Okay, I had I took me um I skipped it up I skipped a bunch of stuff but I had to um, go back and check because I was really confused at the how that how that heart ended. Uh, well, first of all, it doesn't even show them winning, so I don't we don't. I'm gonna guess that was supposed to be for season two or something, right? Because sectionals was not their goal, was it? Was it was there sectionals? Was it was it something else? Was it, I I don't know how skating works, so I'm guessing there's something after that, Olympics and all that probably. But this, so I'm gonna guess that was supposed to be safe for the next season. But um, the ending part was confusing me. I think anybody watching would get confused as to what just happened with the bat swing stuff. And and I'm gonna th I'm thinking, and unfortunately, I'm thinking it's a dream. I'm pretty sure the dream. I was going back through it again. First of all, there's no way they had time to do this just yet because Justin literally said it was gonna. The, the 20 minutes or something, right? They only had like 20 minutes before to, to, get on the, to get on the ice. So there's no way that happened, you know, while they were there. There's no time. And then I don't think it happened afterwards either. It's kind of weird because they have the same clothes on. Um, I don't know who Dasha is looking at on the ice though, but to me it looks like their child or something. You know? Um, I mean, I guess she's scouting for the next group of ice skaters and whatnot. But it seems too much, too good to be true, don't you think? Uh, and if you look at the biggest giveaway, though, I was looking at is the shot of Dasha literally when they cut to Dasha on top of the railing. The song says, "If it was a dream" or something like that. 
it has the word dream in it. That's how you know that's a dream. That's what they want. That's what they want to happen. That's not what's actually happening. Unlike what's happening on the ice right now. They're about to go for their dreams. Dasha is thinking about what she wants. Because she was looking up there too. She said, there's no way this happened. If she's looking up there, it didn't. Ha it, it would have happened earlier. But there's no way it happened earlier. So that's what she wants to happen. So that makes it kind of sad because she's not getting that. She didn't, she didn't come. We, we see a version of her in a dream, but that's not real. And you see that you cut to the mom. And you can see what the mom wants to do, right? Just she wants to do that, but there's not that nothing good's gonna come out of that. She whacks the guy. That that uh, uh, I like how she. I know she would do that all for her daughters. That's that's so cool. But what she would do for her kids, you know, is high, is beautiful. But she's not gonna do that. She's gonna go up there and whack him with a bat, and then she's gonna call the police. Then what? Then what? She's in jail. She don't get to see her kids again anymore. That's not happening. That's not happening. That's what she would like to do. I like how in her dream, though, she thinks of even calling the police and all that. Um, that's not going to happen, though. There's no way. So it looks like the freaking guy gets away with it? Oh, gosh. You know, that might actually happen in real life. If, if, but, but, I don't know. He's a doctor, too. But, you know, her word don't count for anything? Mmm... Maybe not, I don't know. Cold realities. Cold reality, man. Nasty son of a bitch. And he's a doctor too? That sucks. Because if he gets away with it, he just makes all this money and he's hot too and he's freaking tall. And he has everything handed to him. I mean, he's got everything perfect already. And he's gonna be able to get away with that shit too. That's that's so terrible. You want you want bad things to You want uh, karma. You know, you, you want... um. If you, you know, you do terrible things, terrible things get done to you, but that doesn't always happen. Can't believe it, man. The guy has everything going for him. He has to be an ass. He has to be a nasty pedophile ass or whatever. I didn't know 16 was the legal age wherever they are. Normally it's 17, 18. Normally it's 18, so. And I can't believe that Jen went along with that. That was so terrible. I know that it just kind of a coincidence, right? Everybody that Jen likes and whatnot always seems like. Cat keeps taking away, so she's kind of like desperate. I think at this point, kind of against your friend like that, though. Come on, you know something's up, but he he actually could explain. Oh, can he really do that? He explained it away that it was just Serena being a desperate teenager or something. You know, it's not true. He, um, we know from the actual conversation they had, private conversation, that he said I loved you just to get her in bed and whatever. Yeah, so she was freaking having sex with that guy. That's what that conversation was last last last, last episode. That was real. Ah, whatever, man. Whatever, man. I kind of wish she did hit him with the bat now, but that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Just not re not not realistically. You know, especially her state now. She's thinking clearly. She's not gonna do that. But damn it, sucks. Ugh. That's what all the loneliness was going was doing to her. She kind of drove her into that his arms in a desperate plea to look for somebody to fill that loneliness gap uh gross uh, anyway um jen so we just got her back and uh she lost a dream of being a skater so she feels like you gotta take this away from me too <laughs> oh needy um a little too um selfish whatever whatever this sucks what a way to end it, man. If that's going to be season... If we're not going to get a season two, that guy... we I have to leave with the taste of my mouth of that guy getting away with all that. And he gets a girlfriend in the end, too. And he's got a doctor. He's a doctor. He's rich. What the hell, man? Handsome, tall, rich, girlfriend. One of those things got to be taken away from him, okay? God damn it. Sucks. He should automatically lose, like, five inches and gain a bunch of acne on this. He should... <laughs> Lose a foot and gain acne. Or lose the girlfriend and the job. Something he gotta something gotta happen to this guy. But we'll never see it because it's never gonna it's not gonna go through. So um other than that though, <laughs> it's an incredible episode. God damn, series is amazing. Uh it was really good. I really enjoy watching this freaking show. Thank you for the person who commented on it. Um telling me to go back and check it out because it was worth it uh you know i don't get i don't get many views for this one but i don't give a shit it was freaking awesome and for the few people who did watch it thank you i'm watching it for you guys i felt bad for the sister because she she kind of got the short end this time she uh looks like emotions kind of 
it made her made her suck basically. I mean, that sounds bad. Um, she was in a bad place, you know, already. And then all this guy stuff and everything. Right before she goes on there, just kind of crushed her. So she ain't making a section. No, she failed like twice. I think she kind of dropped to the ground like twice almost. So one time a fall, and the other one was like, oh, it didn't look too good. It was bad. She knew it was bad. But she can support the sister, you know. In the end, it's the family, man. The family, they have it together. But, oh uh, yeah, Mitch also left. I feel bad for that, too. Uh, give her a chance, you know. I would have gave her a chance. I know it. But, yeah, you know, but you know what? You know what? It wasn't just that. It wasn't just that she had to find out that the mom had done something, you know, to him. Uh, she had to, he had to find out to the daughter accusing him of sleeping with Serena. Again, pretty much. No, it didn't happen the first time. She never actually came to her with it. She finally did now, yeah, and it just blew up in her face. And you know, you know what? If I if I got accused of that shit, yeah, I probably would be pissed off too. I think I'd be more, I'd be more offended that you accuse me of pedophilia. Or, well, I guess it isn't because she's 16, so um, sleeping with your students, sleeping with someone that young, I'd be more pissed off that you'd accuse me of that, right? Like taking advantage of my students, than I would be that you cheated on me. But the two combined really kind of. It makes it look like your whole fa the whole family is just out to get you or something, you know? And he's put up with a lot, so I can understand his frustrations with it. But, you know, I mean, give her a chance. Give her a second. I can forgive the cheating part, especially if I understand who she is. But still, she loves the guy, and yet she went sleep with the other guy because she was upset. She does a lot of, like, coping mechanism sex. She has sex with guys as coping mechanisms, I swear. Just when she's hurting... Goes to the bar and finds the next nearest guy who will take her in. Who will buy her a drink, right? It's like that this is it. You sleep with anybody who buys you a drink. Uh, you know, she's gotta, that wasn't the pills. That was her own choice. Why did she do it? Why did she do it? Because she likes immediate. She likes to have that immediate satisfaction of, of feeling better because someone else is taking interest in you or something. And, and um, yeah, that was all her fault. She's on her pills. And you can't blame the pills for this one. But damn it, she does care for him. It wouldn't have ended there. But damn it, it ends there now because we gotta watch. Because there's no there's no season two. That sucks. I, I don't want to see them end like that. Because I feel like they're gonna get back together. Mitch likes her. He did nothing wrong. Mitch did nothing wrong. I love how it it switched. It looked so much like he was gonna be a bad guy, and he ended up being the best guy. And the doctor was evil. And we'd seen him several times throughout. We just we had no idea what was going on behind the scenes. Six, six. six. But yeah, Mitch was Mitch was a good guy, man. He's a good guy. He don't deserve this. He did nothing but help you, and you're gonna accuse him of this, and you're sleeping on him and cheating on him with this, and you know if you really want him back, you better make a major apology because he really has no reason to stick around after all of that. You know if he has any respect for himself, I don't I don't really blame him for doing that. Um, the dad had to realize that life is not as simple as he thought it was. You know, he wants no complications for somebody, and I don't know it's something like that, right? Like, 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 like the dad the son said you gotta stop forgiving people for not being perfect like uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it I, I, I think I understand I understand it though he's he wants to believe in his head that things are you know you can you find someone who doesn't give you any drama any um complications but truth is nobody is simple like that everyone is complicated and yeah well it wasn't just that he felt he felt hurt that she couldn't that she couldn't confide in him but it's because he tends to he kind of has a, like a judgment of the whole world like you know you're either perfect or you're not black and white kind of thing and I guess she didn't want him to know that you know she had had mistakes too and stuff like that because you know he seems to kind of judge everyone else kind of harshly sometimes and I like that he could he realized that when the son talked to him go back there and let her know, you know, I don't care, it's cool. I didn't get what I, I didn't get what the problem was at first. That was a long time ago. That wasn't with you and all that. And I thought maybe he was upset that she slept with someone else, but that was a long time ago. That wasn't it. It was just the confiding part, I guess. Why am I finding this out now and you told Cal before me and all that? Yeah. He just you gotta realize that everyone's complicated. Even your even you, your wife, you know, everybody. And it's not just it's just not other people. It's not other people. It's everybody. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I get it. Ah, uh, anything else that I left out? 
Oh yeah, I was right. Marcus is. It felt kind of final with Marcus, him leaving the ski resort to go do his skiing thing and all that stuff. By telling, like how he got it back by telling the truth, and he's gonna go off and become a great skier and all that. Um, he he gets to achieve his dreams with a, with a, with a girl who will support him, and um, unfortunately it wasn't Cat, but it wasn't meant to be. But uh, I kind of felt that was gonna be that was final. It felt final when he walked away. It ends on a questionable note of what's gonna happen. It's it's left open ended, I guess you could say, because they clearly were gonna plan a season two. Because a lot of <clears throat> there's a lot of not plot holes. There's a lot of uh, a lot of open space there's a lot of what's the word untried territory i don't know there's a lot of plot there's a lot of um story that's been left un plot points story po story whatever has been left unresolved a lot of things that they can do here mitch leaving the guy who was with the with the sister Dasha and uh, whatever the friend's name, whatever the lover's name is, um, you know, Tatiana. Um, will they win the competition? Stuff like that, you know, that's all unresolved, basically. But, you know what, I'm satisfied either way because I can see where this would have gone and uh, it's beautiful. Either way, I was satisfied. We got a lot of shit out of this season. And even if they don't win, they have each other now. That's kind of more important anyway. I, I really wanted to see Dasha and Tatiana actually get together, but I know that's a dream, and it might not it might not happen. I want to see Dasha happy. I do. I want to see her light up and smile like she did in that dream sequence, you know. Cause she deserves some happiness, man. I you. It also for me, it also says it's never too late to start to have a happy ending. That's what it would it would teach. What was it, that's what it would say. I want that for her, cause I could have something for everybody, you know, for me. That maybe I can say, you know, I left behind something and come back to it later. It doesn't have to be the end just because you said, because you made a choice then doesn't mean you can't do something now. I still have hope for that, but we're never gonna know. Realistically, though, it may never happen. Maybe, maybe she just felt too much time pass too. Nah, come on. Like they said, your husband's dead and all that. Come on, you can do something, make it happen. That one is still possible. Okay. I don't think that we're gonna, we might not be able to resolve the the, 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 the doctor's thing. Well, the sister can just report it, man. But I don't think she's gonna hit it with a bat. That's not happening. That'd be the dumbest thing she could do. And the camping thing was really cute, seeing that little camping thing at the end. I'm trying to figure out what the point of that was. Just showing a good, not, not all of it was bad, right? They had good time with them, with the mom too. And ultimately she, she was always there for them. She always tries to be there for them. I don't like that. I guess she never really took back the you're a terrible mom thing. She's just a human being, you know? Human being with bipolar disorder. And it's not always easy. Although it looks like if they just kept on the pills, nothing would have happened. Huh. That's what it looks like, right? It, it was just goddamn take your skin off the pills. As long as you stay off, stay on those pills, nothing bad would have happened, it sounds like. But it doesn't absolve them of responsibility because the mom slept with that guy regardless of something I keep coming back to that but hey that's kind of the thing that I took away from it well I don't uh, I don't like that it's unresolved but I can kind of imagine where it would have gone they would have won eventually and like I said they have each other in the end so that, that works out so that is the end of spinning out 1x10 season 1 episode 10 there is no more. I don't think we're gonna get any more. But I had a blast watching this. Well, watching this thing. So I don't know. Whatever happens next, man. I'll see you guys there. Um. Yeah. Um. Recommend something if you like this kind of thing. Recommend something like this. I don't know what else, but I will take a look. I promise I will take a look at it and see if it's worth checking out for put on the channel, whatever. Really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Whatever, see you guys. Get out of here.